Basic. On Tuesday morning, Mayweather told Stephen A. Smith he would give Manny a rematch after he recovered from shoulder surgery. However, days later in an interview that has yet to air, he told Jim Gray he's changed his mind because Manny has too many excuses. He says Manny should accept the loss like a man instead of talking about a bum shoulder. He called him a sore loser and a coward. Jim Gray was on Mike and Mike this morning, and this is what he had to say about the chances of a rematch. These folks were arguing, nitpicking, uh, and downright, you know, tooth and nail on every single detail of this fight. The fact that these two guys got in the ring and fought each other, really, it is a miracle. And to say that this could happen again, um, you never want to say never, but I would say the chances of that are are way less than zero, whatever that numerical circumstance would be. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's just not going to happen. All right, so that's Jim Gray's take on it. Stephen A., you see a rematch happening. No, I lean towards Jim Gray. You can never say never. Anything's possible, but I think it'd be highly unlikely, especially since Mayweather's of the mindset that, you know what, he can't win no matter what happens. Unless he sit there and put Pacquiao to sleep with, with the way Marquez did, nothing is going to suffice. And, 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 and I don't blame him, to be quite honest with you. It's just not worth it, especially when he's already paid. He's not the one that needs the money. He's the one that's got worth over a half a billion dollars, at least. He's chilling. He doesn't need Manny Pacquiao. I mean, the fact is, the fight took place. Uh, he won by decision. Uh, I thought he outboxed him. Skip thought, thought Manny Pacquiao win. Now he's got Eva Longoria in his corner along with Amanda, <laughs> Amanda just, Holyfield. No, Stephen I mean, A., he look, was listen. just saying that during the commercial break. He just said, yes, now listen, it's it. It's like, listen, the, the bottom line is, is that <laughs> why bother? Why bother? There are other opponents out there to fight. Uh, you know, first of all, you got Canelo Alvarez and Miguel Cotto, uh, uh, David Garcia uh, and, and Amir Khan, a bunch of guys. You know, listen, and then you want to walk away? If you're going to retire in September, you don't have to come out of retirement to fight Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is going to have a loss on his record against Floyd Mayweather Jr., whether he likes it or not. That is in the books. It's in the history books. It is what it is. That's what it's going to go down to as a loss, and that's that. I wouldn't even waste my time. Now, obviously, if the public is demanding it the way they were before, that would be different. But the public's not demanding it. Most folks in the public are saying they don't want to see a fight like that again. So why bother? If I'm, if I'm money made with it, why bother? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so remember on Monday, I told you that I seriously doubted there would be a rematch. That's why I told you on Tuesday, I was pleasantly, not just surprised, I was pleasantly shocked that Floyd texted you. I told you this in the break, and you, you, you were gone, obviously, and then I, I used it as, as your announcement of what Floyd had just texted you, that he would welcome a rematch. Wow, he would? So... Help me out here. What change do you think in Floyd's mind from that moment on Tuesday morning, Eastern time, obviously? Because, because I think Floyd was under the impression that Manny Pacquiao initially was saying, I wasn't at my best because I got hurt during the fight. It was in the aftermath of all of it. When Floyd and I spoke Sunday morning, he said, excuses, excuses, no excuses. But that's all he was saying because he was simply of the mindset that he thought Manny Pacquiao was saying, I got hurt during the fight. That's why I wasn't at my best. What has annoyed Floyd to no end, and Dan Rayfield would, will confirm this for you as well. Dan Rayfield and I spoke yesterday as well via text. Floyd Mayweather is disgusted and annoyed that so much noise is being made about what Manny Pacquiao's conditions were coming into the fight. If Manny Pacquiao were to say, I was fighting and while we were in the ring this happened, Floyd might be annoyed, but he wouldn't be insulted. But the fact that Manny Pacquiao is claiming that I had this happen to me before the fight even began, I kept it from the Nevada State Athletic Commission, you know, like my, so did my promoter, so did my trainer and stuff like that, he feels is completely disrespectful and totally discrediting him and the overall fight itself. So Floyd is like, look, I don't need you. Now, also, I would like to point this out. This is according to folks with inside the Mayweather camp. I don't know if it's true or not, but I need to tell you this. They're of the mindset, because remember, they're the promote, they were the promotional arm. So all the paperwork comes through them. And from what I heard, Manny Pacquiao got considerably less than he was supposed to get because most of the money went, whether it be the top rank or somebody else. So that's another thing that infuriated mm -hmm. Floyd, because Floyd's mentality is that I offered you $40 million up front. I offered you $40 million, and I told you I'd wire you $20 million within 48 hours. And you turned that down. Because you kept bloviating about how this was supposed to be a mega fight and you deserved your large share. 
and I was giving you more money than you ever got before. And then you make this deal, and then you end up getting even less than I offered you? Oh, Floyd's ticked on a multitude of levels. They're not going to elaborate about this publicly, at least not yet, but that's the kind of stuff that I've been hearing. So all of this stuff has contributed to really irritating Floyd because Floyd is like, I might be arrogant, I might floss, I might have this money, but I respect the profession of boxing, what boxers have to go through. I'm making my money. I tried to facilitate you making yours. And not only did you give me lip, but then you didn't end up capitalizing off the money that we worked so hard to ensure that you get. And then afterwards, you're going to come after, you're gonna come out after the fight and claim that you were hurt coming into the fight, totally discrediting me in every way. Why should I waste my time with you when you're the one that needs the money, not me? That's his attitude, Skip. I'm lost here. I think we have a little revisionist history going on because all this came out that he was hurt before the fight on Sunday going into Monday, and you got the text on Tuesday morning. No, so but I told you we spoke Sunday morning, too. Before I went on Sports Center, Floyd called me. Before I went on the air with Hannah Storm, Sunday morning, I walked off the Sports Center set with Hannah Storm and Bernard Hopkins because Floyd asked me to call him. And Floyd told me that Sunday morning, excuses, excuses, everybody's got one, but he lost, but he can come get it again so long as top rank is willing to put up the money this time instead of us. That's when Floyd first made that statement. Okay. Then Tuesday morning, when he saw you and I going back and forth, he texted me what I told you he texted me. Okay, I, I still don't know exactly what changed from Sunday up until Tuesday and on then into Sunday Wednesday. On Sunday morning, he was of the impression that Pacquiao was complaining about an injury sustained during the fight. No. He was under that impression. I know, but I'm nobody just saying he was under that impression. said a peep about that. Bob Arum said moments after the fight he had the Kobe Bryant injury before. That's torn rotator cuff. I I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disputing that. I'm telling you Floyd was under the impression that Manny was talking about an injury sustained during the fight as opposed to Tuesday when he learned that Pacquiao had been saying it occurred before the fight. You got to remember, Floyd just won the fight Saturday night, did a bunch of press conferences, went out and hung out with folks and all of this other stuff. So he may very well not have heard the, the difference between mm -hmm. it occurring during the fight and it occurring before the fight. So it's perfectly plausible how on Sunday morning, at 5 o'clock, mm. he's thinking that Manny Pacquiao <clears throat> saying he sustained an injury during the fight as opposed to before it. And it's perfectly plausible to me that Floyd slept on it on Tuesday night into Wednesday <clears throat> and woke up and realized, wait a second, uh -huh. why would I risk fighting a healthy Manny Pacquiao after I've turned 39 years of age? Now, maybe that's cowardly. I don't know, but I'm just who throwing looked, that out. Who looked you know? like the younger fighter? Who looked like the younger fighter with better movement in the fight? As the fight went on, Pacquiao did. Okay. In in okay. round one, when you okay. leap to well, your why, conclusion. Why are you asking yeah. these questions? No, I'm good. I'll make good answer. See, where, where Manny Pacquiao did himself the most damage was he came out in round one without the benefit of getting the painkilling <sighs> shot he thought he was going to get. And he's scared, man. Like, I'm going to have to ease into this because I don't even know if my right arm is going to work here. So he eases in round one. I immediately tweeted, this is not a good start for Manny Pacquiao. And you jumped to the conclusion of, <clears throat> see, Floyd's bigger, he's longer, he's quicker, he looks younger. In round one, it went to Floyd, no doubt about it. Round two, Manny started easing into the fight. Three, took round three for sure. <clears throat> Four, he pummeled Floyd, and here we went from there on. But you had already leaped to your conclusion, as had many Floyd fanatics out in our audience. I don't know what fight you were watching. It's sad. It really is. Mm. I, I missed what he said. Um, okay. The fight, guys. No rematch. It will not happen. It's I'm not over. even interested in talking about it anymore. Yeah. Floyd won the fight, yeah. period. No, no more fight talk on this show. For the first time since the Wells report was released, Tom Brady spoke. But did he say enough? That's the discussion after the break. Damian Woody, is he joining us? Yes. I don't see him. Okay, great. Damian Woody's joining us. We'll be right back, folks.